My next guest says that if the president is looking for any deal soon, this is not the way to get it done. Expert negotiator Marty Lutz joining me right now. Marty, you, you go back and forth on the give and take of deal making. What is the president potentially doing wrong? What do you think the, the, the House minority leader could be doing wrong? Well, traditionally, Neil, you're absolutely right uh, that, in fact, if you have a future relationship with your counterpart in a negotiation, uh, by publicly criticizing them, you're going to lower the likelihood of a deal. Uh, but this is a two-way street. And in fact, uh, both the minority leader and the president have been going back and forth on this issue for a while. Also keep in mind that this is a little bit different than traditional business negotiations, where you do really want to foster and oftentimes promote that long-term relationship. In political negotiations, uh, sometimes they go behind closed doors, and despite what happens in the public sphere, where there's a lot of give and take uh, publicly, trying to create leverage and control the agenda in the negotiation, oftentimes they will sit down and actually do deals that are in their self-interest, regardless of what they say about each other in public. But have you ever dealt with situations where the parties just hate each other and they get, can't get past the hate and they go their separate ways or they, something implodes because it's like a deal-making Armageddon, but they don't care? Well, that's right. And oftentimes, you know, that personality conflict, when it gets personalized to that extent, you do see a lot of good deals that go south uh, because they just can't get along. And there is a danger that the president and the minority leader will go over that edge and in fact will not be able to actually focus on their self-interest and on the country's self-interest when and if they actually do get but behind you know, Marty, closed someone, doors and start that give and take process. I'm sorry Marty, someone has to blink, right? In any give and take, someone has to blink. It's up to the other side uh, whether to make it obvious that the other side blinked, but, uh, but someone does, right? Well, that's right. If there's going to be any give and take in the process, uh, there needs to be some concessions made by both sides, oftentimes. Uh, but in a political context, m understand that the blinking doesn't have to happen in public. And if it happens behind well, do you closed think there's doors, any gives... kind and fuzzy stuff going on behind the scene? Because I don't see it here. I see both of these guys, and I could be very wrong, not liking each other a lot. And, and I don't see anything constructive behind the scenes. But again, you're the expert negotiator. I'm not. Am I missing something? Well, you may very well be right. Uh, but keep in mind that this is a tried and true political tactic. There may not be anything going on right now behind closed doors. Uh, but in fact, they may be setting themselves up by giving them more leverage and trying to control the agenda. So later on, they can both take a step back from the process and actually get a deal done. We shall see. Marty, thank you very much. Marty Lutz in Phoenix.